Hello, everyone, and welcome to our new episode of The Three Whiskey Tears, the show that likes to share whiskey and have a lot of fun. <laughs> Jamie, your host. We've got our angel headed hipster, Curtis, our happy Honduran and Eddie. And back again for season two, uh, the lovely Leah. <laughs> What's her name? <laughs> Remember you? Leah is one of our first guests. Um, she's not the biggest whiskey fan, but she wants to be a star. Um, so what we did was, since she's so sweet, we got some sweet wines. Yes. Well, we've got some su sweet dessert wines. Dessert wines. Which are like ports, mm -hmm. but aren't aren't ports because they're not made in the Porto Valley in Portugal. Portugal. Right? Right, right, right. Remember that. So, but what goes good with port is blue cheese. Or chocolate. So we got a Bishop's chocolate pie because Friday was someone's birthday. Mm -hmm. It was my birthday. I'm old. Yep. <laughs> say ha say happy anniversary birthday to Eddie. Everybody. Happy birthday, Eddie. Happy, happy, happy. All right. Okay. So I guess I will start opening bottles. And yep. I will pass out the pack. I saw both of these are 2011s. Was that a good year? 2011 was a really good year for port in actually Portugal. And it was a pretty good vintage year in California. It wasn't a spectacular vintage year, I don't believe. This year, well, 2016 has turned out to be a really good year, too. So, if you're going to pick up a, a port from Portugal and you want it to be something special, get a 2016. The air oxidizes the dessert wine. Okay. So, the taste that you get from here has air. The taste that you get from the straw doesn't have air. So th there's two distinct different tastes, and you can try it and see what you think. This <laughs> is so fancy. So fancy, fancy. Okay, so we have a Syrah dessert wine. Okay, so from California. So to be more clear, what what do we what do we do when we do this? Is that sucking, or is that, or is there like a fancy French word for it? Have you tried it? Do you like it? Fruity. Oh, yeah, crap, fruity. this is holy sweetness. Sweet, yeah. yeah. Now, let your palate clear and try it like this. It's a, and there is a difference. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm It really surprised me the first time I did this. I didn't think, it, I thought it was a gimmick. But there really is a difference in the taste. So I like to say I like it better when I do the sipper. What do you think? Yeah. What do you guys think? That's what I was thinking. Usually for the ports that I've been we've been drinking lately, um, Vern and I have been liking it more through the sipper, but I don't think that's true with every port we've had it. Okay, so just like with a port, mm -hmm. uh, they uh, they take the grapes, they start to ferment them, uh -huh. and within a few months they stop the fermentation and the fermentation is over, mm -hmm. and then they put it into barrels or sometimes stainless steel to mature for two or three uh -huh, years. Uh -huh. But what the what the brandy does is it fortifies it and it stops the fermentation. So it it, it stops the, the loss of the sweetness it has in wine. Mm -hmm. And it also um, leaves the color. So a, a ruby port is going to be, you know, bright in color, much more sweeter than a tawny port, because mm -hmm. a tawny port is left in the barrels longer, and matures longer. Okay. So it loses some of its color into the oak, it mm -hmm. loses some of its uh, sweetness into the oak. Okay. okay. So that's the process. And that's, that's the why, process. They, is that why they like to use um, that in the whiskey barrels then? Or use that, put the whiskey into the tawny barrels? Because it has more of that because wine it has, into it? It has that, that wine flavor embedded in the, the barrels, and then that gets embedded into the whiskey. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so to, to describe this, I think it's very sweet, and I almost like think it's got like a light black licorice that flavor in there, and it's very wet. It's just like it's like it's flooding my mouth. Oh. Mmm. 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 Okay. So we'll enjoy for a while, right? Mm -hmm. And then we'll try. A Pinot Noir dessert wine, and we'll see what we think. Yeah, I think. So. What do you think? I like it through the zipper. The zipper because the it's zipper. cute. Yeah. <laughs> or because you actually like the flavor more. Yeah, I like the flavor more. Yeah. 
So Curtis, we finished off the very first bottle of the Andes Wines 2011 Syrah Dessert Wine mm -hmm. out of California. Andes right. Wine. Andes? Andes. What did I say? Andes? Um, I don't know. Maybe I have any. I just looked at the letters Andes. and I... Andes? Uh, 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 Andes? Okay, moving on. Moving on. <laughs> We're going to talk now with the... Uh, Seven Hearts. It? Seven Hearts. Pinot Grigio. Pinot oh, Pino Pino Noir. Pinot Noir. This is also a dessert wine, so why don't you go ahead and... Well, yeah, it's not nearly as sweet. So what, what's your favorite type of wine? My favorite type yeah, of wine? Yeah, right? I don't know. Uh, there was this one called Fiction that was really good. That was a red blend. It a was like blend. a Shiraz, okay. Zinfandel, Grenache blend, I think. It was very, very peppery and spicy, and it really dried out your mouth when you drank it. Yeah. I typically, I like dry red wines, but it's been a long time since I've drank any wine okay. regularly. Yeah. yeah, I think it is lighter. It's not as savory, just like you said. Not as sweet. Not as sweet. Not I as actually, sweet. you know what? I, I do like the sweetness of the other uh, wine, I, I think. But I think it may be overpowering after a couple cups. Mm -hmm. So this may be more for me, where I might have one of those and then kind of finish off the day with these. Because this is this is just sweet enough for me to just kind of hang in there, and it's just the uh, the end is a little bit dry, I think. And um, I don't know, I, I like it. I dig it. This tastes more like a mature port. Mm. Yeah. A more mature, and it's tonic. more refined. I think that's what I'm looking for. To be noted, uh, seven of hearts, I think, might have my heart. I like it. Yeah. I like this. And, uh, it's, I'm not so much into the sweet. Okay, is that is this one? I think this is. Tastes more like wine to me. This tastes more like I guess it's a dessert wine, so yeah, it should wine. taste yeah, like this. Yeah, I think we're supposed to just have like one cup of this with dessert, but this is not supposed to be something you kind of like drink throughout the night, like with dessert. Yeah, yeah and yeah. that's what we're doing. What are your thoughts on this one? Um, this one I like more drinking it this way instead of out of this. Sippy. You know what? I did not try that. What am I doing with my life? Hmm. It's just amazing man, to me that there's that much of a difference. Oh my gosh, there is a huge difference yeah. on this one. Like this one, you could taste the difference, but this one's like a whole different... It's not a totally different wine, but it's almost like it gives it a different body. Yeah. When now you're look, taking it in. Now that we're talking different grapes. Oh, it's way darker. Yeah. Than it's way darker. Too. So the color is there. So this would tell me this is more of a ruby, and this is more of a tawny. So... Ruby or Tawny, which do you prefer? I like them both, honestly. Okay, mm -hmm. that's good. But if I was just going to have a glass like with the dessert, I'd probably go for the Ruby. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm glad that we tied in how with Tawny, vetting the Tawny, but uh, it's, yeah, I think sim it is. similar, it's closer to it. Yeah. That how we get to how whiskey is affected by these barrels. Right. Stuff like that. I think that's kind of a nice little tie-in. We still get to keep the theme to our show. We're glad that you made it again. You're welcome back anytime. Thank you. Yes. And um, if we don't have anything else to talk about, we want to make sure that you like, comment, share, subscribe. Subscribe. Let's see if I can do that right. Comment, share, subscribe. I'll put that in the notes. And with that, Great Britannian, uh, why don't we wine out of here? <laughs> all for one. <laughs> one for one all. For all. <laughs>